Hi guys, today we're going to be talking about TPA, which is a tissue plasminogen activator. And specifically today, we're going to be calculating how much TPA we would give for an ischemic stroke. So using the formula given to us, we have 0 0.9 times the weight in kilograms, which is going to give us the total amount to give to the patient. It's important to remember that 10% of the total amount will be given as a bolus immediately over one minute. Okay. Next, we're going to use an example problem. The patient we're dealing with today has a weight of 250 pounds. 250 pounds, which needs to be immediately calculated into kilograms. Once we convert into kilograms, it's 113.6 kilograms. You divide this by 2.2 for those of you who don't know. All right, so then we have our patient weight of 113.6 kilograms. Step number two is we're gonna plug this into our formula. So we have 0 0.9 times 113.6, which is gonna give us 102.24 milligrams. We must always remember that the maximum total volume that we're gonna give a patient for TPA is 90 milligrams. Okay, so if our patient calculates out to be higher than the 90, we're going to disregard the higher amount and always stick with our maximum dosage. This dosage has to be given over one hour. All right, so step number three. Step number three, we're going to calculate our IV bolus. So because we need 10%, we have 90 milligrams. We're going to multiply that by 0.1 which is going to give us 9 milligrams IV bolus over one minute. It's important to remember that all medications using TPA must be given with a pump. Okay, so now we have our 9 milligrams. It's going to go over as a bolus over one minute. We take our 90 milligrams, that is our total amount given. We subtract our nine milligrams. That's gonna give us 81 milligrams remaining. This amount that's remaining must be given over 59 minutes. Because remember, we already gave one minute here and the total amount of time is one hour, which is also 60 minutes. So, now we have 81 milligrams divided by 59 minutes. Once we do this math, it's going to equal a really long number. It's 1.37288, etc., and change. Once we have this number, that's how much we must give per minute to keep give this 81 milligrams over 59 minutes. So if the problem is asking for how many milliliters per minute you're going to set for, then here's your answer. You would round this up and it would be 1.4 milliliters per minute. But it's important to make the distinction between milliliters per minute and milliliters per hour. If the question is asking milliliters per hour, you're gonna take this number and you're gonna times it by 59 minutes, which is gonna give us 81 milliliters per hour, okay? This is to make sure that we give the remainder amount over the next 59 minutes. Go back and check your math, make sure it's dual verified, and have a great time being a nurse. See you next time.